Director of photography, Alec Watson, back with part B. Is that a B on your side? <laughs> That's actually a question. <laughs> it's like, or did I just make a D? Or did I make a D for dunce? <laughs> Director of photography, Alec Watson, back with part B of Develop Brush. This is where we get to have extra, extra fun. We've worked on the eyes. We've made them pop a little bit. But now our creative director says, Alec, you know, I wish when that photo was taken that the color of that lipstick worked better with the hair color. And I get to say, hey, you know what? We can fix that in Ultimate. We can do that with the Develop Brush too. So let's pull in on those lips. We're going to select a third brush. Now we're going to get our nib size, kind of lip size, there we go. Now we could just go ahead and brush this on, but I'm gonna show you something that's extra clever. Um, if I just go and brush, see how it, I've gotta be really accurate with it falling outside the lip? Well, let's erase that. There is a thing called smart brushing, and if we pick the magic brush, it looks for similar tones and hues, and when I brush that on, it's actually surprisingly accurate with just grabbing that red. It makes me look like I'm way more coordinated than I really am. And you know what? That is pretty darn clever. And we'll just grab this top lip. Here we go. Nicely done. Up by the teeth. There we go. Excellent. Let's pull back. Now that's our brush stroke, right? So once we're in here, we can take our color EQ and let's pick hues and take our red hues and we can start moving those reds. And bam, just like magic, we have tuned that lipstick color to work with the hair color and the picture's taken on a whole new character from the original. There's our original, there's our popping version. That's really awesome, just done with non-destructive develop brushes. Now, one thing that I wanted to mention, which is really handy, that we've got several more brushes we could use. As we use more brushes, it's like, well, what did what? What if I look at this and go, you know what? It's really close, but the whites of her eyes. Well, if we toggle over the brushes, I can go, oh, that is the whites of her eye brush, and they're still a little too white, Let's dial that back. There we go, perfect. I encourage you to play around with the develop brush. The develop brush is a super powerful way to go in and tune your photos and make them creatively yours, non-destructively, without ever damaging your photo.